after moving across town post her father's redeployment. Yumi Nakamura stands at the gate of Hamakita Elementary to start her first day in her new school. Neither her mother or father were able to attend this first day with her due to their work commitments. So Yumi summoned up all her courage and confidently entered the school grounds. She found her classroom and then greeted the teacher, explaining how she was new and quite nervous. The teacher assured her she had nothing to worry about and stood her out in front of the students in order to introduce her and to request that they all befriend and take good care of her. Two girls at the back made snide remarks about her hair and clothes, which ironically was not so different to their own. And then, they decided it would be fun to play a prank on her at recess. Recess came, and the two girls befriended Yumi and asked her if she would like a tour of the school. She said that she would love that, but first, she would love to know where the toilets are. The two girls, seizing this opportunity, tell her that they are located on the third floor. However, she must look out for Hanako-san. Who? she asks. The legend of Hanako-san has terrified Japanese schoolchildren for generations. She is said to be the spirit of a young girl who is known to haunt school bathrooms. Some think that she was a child who lived during World War II and who was killed during an air raid while hiding in a school bathroom during a game of hide and seek. Others think that Hanako-san came to haunt school bathrooms after being murdered by a stranger or an abusive parent. To summon Hanako-san, it is often said that individuals must enter a school's bathroom, usually on the third floor of a school, knock three times on the third stall, and ask if Hanako-san is present. If she is there, she will reply with some variation of, Yes, I am. The individual may then witness the appearance of a bloody or ghostly hand, or even Hanako-san herself. If they do see her, Hanako-san will pull the individual into the toilet, which may lead to a lifetime of suffering in hell. The girls dare Yumi to head to the third floor and knock on the third stall. Trying to appear brave in front of her new classmates and not wanting to be teased, she accepts their challenge and makes her way upstairs. At the third stall, she knocks on the door and nothing happens. She then opens the door. At this point, the other girls push her in. They then wedge the door shut with a cabinet so that she is trapped inside. She screams and cries, but no one hears her, and no one comes to her aid. Eventually, school for the day finishes, and night sets in. With her parents working overtime in their new jobs, no one misses Yumi, and she is left there, alone, trapped in the dark, for the remainder of the night. The next morning, the girls return to see how Yumi has fared through their prank. After opening the door, they are shocked to see that Yumi is no longer there and that they are greeted by Hanako-san, who drags them both to a slow and painful death.